Next is number 79, Populus tremuloides. This is your quaking aspen. So it gets the name quaking aspen by the fact that its petioles are actually flattened along the sides. So if you're holding the leaves, which are chordate, right? They're shaped like a heart. If you're holding them like this, the petiole is flattened in this direction. So that when they're uh, attached to the tree, even the slightest breeze causes them to flutter back and forth. And so they, they tremble, right? So that's where it gets the name uh, quaking or trembling aspen. This tree has a huge, huge distribution over lots of uh, the uh, United States, so pretty ubiquitous um, over large areas. Um, very adaptable, uh, very, very cold hardy. Uh, so again, it, it will grow in most places uh, in the United States. So that uh, should be a very easy way to tell quen, uh, uh, trembling aspen or quaking aspen. Chordate leaves, it does have a yellow fall color that's not especially attractive, but a uh, whole forest of, of this yellow is not bad. Chordate leaves and this flattened uh, petiole are dead giveaways for, for trembling aspen.